Stellenbosch-based investment group PSG was founded by Yanni Mouton, another big name in investment circles. And the best part of this is that you know that he established PSG when he was almost 50 years old. So he's made an incredible fortune for him and everyone who followed him. And he started out doing that. So if you're sitting in your couch at home tonight and you think that your life has only gone so far, so far, and that the best years lie behind you, well, think again, because this guy made himself a multi, multi billionaire after the age of 50. A very, hmm. very encouraging story. Thanks for that, Paul. It's good <laughs> to get us through the rest of the week. Main assets here are Capitec, Caro Holdings, been in the news for the wrong reasons at the moment, PSG Consult, PSG Private Equity, and Zida, my favorite. Zida. Right, exactly. So Zida is the one in the agricultural space that's we have doing a pretty stake well. In Zida. We do, we do. We have a stake in Capitec too. Oh, look, that, that single handedly is what has transformed the value of PSG because they own 34.9% of Capitec, which has gone from two rands a share at listing in 2001 to over 500 or close to 500 rands a share now. Market cap 41.2 billion rand, price to earnings ratio 22.7, and has a dividend yield here of just over 1%. So why would you buy this one? Well, you buy it because the team at PSG, with its track record and its access to funding, keeps getting new deals brought to them. So that's why the guys that started Curro went to them. It's become a huge success. They are operative in a bunch of other businesses, which I won't go into now, but they're continuously launching new activities. And just that alone, the opportunity to buy the existing assets plus the brain power of Yanni and his son Pete and the other guys like Chris Otto, Michiel Leroux, others that are associated with them. And also remember Marcus Eurster is a big stockholder here through Steinhoff, so there's that kind of connection as well. Is there any downside because you've given them a glowing report from the outset? I wouldn't say so. Look, I suppose there could be that Capitook puts a foot wrong, they have a bad debt situation. Which Caro, they haven't done even with no. the implosion of African, African Bank. Bank. They've, been, they've kept their noses very clean and as you know people love working at Capitec and they really are a major player now in retail banking. Caro has put a few feet wrong with regard to their the staff compositions bank. and so on and so forth. But on the whole, that remains a market that appears to have great upside. That's private education. Zeta looks good. So I think no. So this is a team that you endorse for their investment strategy. And, and you know, they're going to continue rolling. And as I say, probably bring a couple of additional attractive <laughs> assets to the market. You know, you've got to back the guys down there in Stellenbosch meeting each other. For well, example, look at the share price graph here. Yeah, well, that should make one a, a little misstep, nervous. A little misstep at the end. Yeah, but that's really just the reflection of the fact that all of the market has been a little bit softer after our recent slump in March. So April, it's just May. a relative, relative yeah. uh, performance. But it's a good one. And I must say, if you're again too tired or too bored or don't have enough money to buy Zeta and Capitec and all the other underlying assets. And watch them and actively manage them. In fact, you know, we them. own all three and in I, our I portfolio. I know we do. So, so you can either buy them or hot stocks. <laughs> How about that? You hot can buy the PSGs because you get a one-stop. So hot, hot on this not. one for hot, me. Yeah. Hot on hot. PSG.